Now the long wait is over. Today, we are proud to introduce a new full-frame mirrorless camera, the Alpha 7S Mark III, which will completely change the way creators can see the world. A new dimension of visual experience. After five years of waiting, we finally got an announcement of the A7S III back in July and a full release in September. After patiently waiting for months, it finally arrived and I spent most of my time learning the camera, tweaking and testing different profiles that applies to my taste. The physical build itself is robust, improving the shortcut buttons, making the hand grip a bit larger and the overall size itself. I got used to, to the previous A7 tilt screen, but the new S3's full articulating screen is like going back 7 years ago when I had my Canon 60D. Plus I have to be extra careful when the screen is all the way out to avoid accidents and unintentional bends. The interface menu is a huge step up to its previous model, but I still find myself sometimes lost, or maybe I just got used to from my old workhorse. But the UI change on the S3 is significantly better, way way better. Maybe a little improvements on the future firmware updates, but for me, it's fine where it is right now. The image quality that this camera produces exceeds the quality of my expectations. Well, since this is my first 10-bit camera, I was really blown away and I came from the line of Canon cameras years ago before switching to Sony. So it's like a breath of fresh air to experience this kind of image quality. Compared to its predecessor, the higher bitrate that this camera offers means better and more colors, less banding, smooth grading, and you know the rest. The Sony Alpha line has the Sony Logarithmic Profile, or S-Log in short. Well, since the first A7S and so forth, I believe, and the line of their cinema cameras. This gives you the ability to shoot on a flat gamma curve, preserving information on shadows and highlights. These log profile are my bread and butter for filming small or big projects, especially the S-Log 2 on my A7 III. S-Log3, however, is Sony's latest log profile and was introduced on the A7S2. And it allows for better reproduction in shadows and in the mid-tone range than S-Log2. But shooting S-Log3 on a lower bit depth on S3's predecessor is kind of like a double-edged sword. Yes, you can have a very flat image and a better color reproduction in post, but the lack of bit depth gives you a high amount of bending and very noticeable noise in the shadows. With a higher bit rate on the S3, Using the S-Log3 is now my go-to profile. The noise is way cleaner, the banding's gone, and it handles very very well on low light. Speaking of low light, I did a few test shots on this camera, just for fun, and to explore the capabilities of this camera in a modest, lit environment. I know I did not go in depth about the improvements that this camera offers, like the autofocus, stabilization, etc. And I just want to share my initial thoughts and show you what are the capabilities this camera can do for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys later.